Today, we are going to go over 10 fun facts about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we are going to go over 10 totally awesome facts about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Some of you might know and others you might not know of. So let's get into the video. So kicking it off here with fun fact number 10. The turtles favorite food was almost sushi. While the Ninja Turtles are famously fond of pizza, as we all know and love ourselves, the original comic series almost had them obsessing over sushi instead, which I feel like would have been a little odd. But what would you prefer them loving more, pizza or sushi? Me, I would go with pizza, plus just about everybody loves pizza, not everyone loves sushi. Actually, I think I'm gonna order some pizza right now. Fun fact number nine, a future movie star had a role in the original 1990 TMNT movie. The Foot Clan mostly wears masks, but the character known as Head Thug doesn't wear a mask. That's good because otherwise we wouldn't be able to look back and realize we were watching a future star. The unnamed Head Thug is played by none other than Sam Rockwell, who today is a big movie star that most of us know well. Another little fun fact, in the movie with Sam Rockwell's character, he tells the police to go check out the East Warehouse over at Laird'man Island, which was a little nod to the team and T creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Fun fact number eight, it was a parody of Marvel's Daredevil. Given how long ago it was, and given how many TMNT properties we've seen, it's easy to forget the origins of the comic. In fact, Eastman and Layard created it as a parody of the Daredevil comics. A couple examples is Splinter's name. Splinter is a parody of Stick from Daredevil, which Stick was the teacher and trainer of Matt Murdock Daredevil, while Splinter is the teacher master of the Ninja Turtles. Another one is the Foot Clan are a parody of The Hand, both ninja groups and Daredevil and Ninja Turtles. So there's a lot of similarities, which I have made a video of, and it should pop up if you do want to learn more about that. But I do wonder, who would win in a fight? The Foot? or the hand? Let me know in the comments. Fun fact number seven. Shredder was based off of a cheese grater. When Kevin Eastman and Peter Layard were designing the Turtles' main foe, they looked anywhere they could for inspiration that would give them a leg up over their comic book competition. According to Eastman, Shredder's design was inspired by a metal cheese grater that struck him as a potential weapon. Eastman wanted to name Shredder either the Great or Great Man, but Layard mentioned the Shredder. Thank God they went with the Shredder, because Great Man or the Greater wouldn't have been good at all, or even that scary. Fun fact number six, the UK had a problem with a word in the title and nunchucks. When the Ninja Turtles cartoon arrived to the UK for the first time, the name had to be changed to Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, or TMHT. Since local censorship policies deem the word ninja to have an excessively violent association for a children's program, one of the most significant changes in the episodes themselves came with the character of Michelangelo, who wielded nunchucks in the US version of the cartoon. Rather than replace these weapons with a more acceptable alternative, the censors opted to simply cut any sequences involving nunchucks altogether. The censorship was so strict that in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, a scene in which Michelangelo uses a pair of sausage links instead of his nunchucks was also edited out, leading to the following note from the British Board of Film Classification. After Turtles takes down sausages and uses them as a flail, reduced to minimum dazzling display of swinging sausages, indistinguishable from chain sticks. The reasoning for this was at the time the British government was on the offensive against violence in children's television, and ninjas and nunchucks were both in the firing line, which was deemed too violent. Fun fact number five. 
no toy company wanted to take on the TMNT toy license. Back when Kevin Eastman and Peter Layard were first trying to get their name and comic book out there, they were having difficulty trying to find a toy company to produce TMNT action figures. They tried a bunch of different companies and constantly got turned down because all these toy companies didn't think something so odd would sell. Plus, the comic was very, very dark. They did not think the concept was possible popular enough to support a toy line. I mean, it does make sense, just think about the title. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But let me tell you how wrong those other companies were. So at first, they did struggle to get the project off the ground. Then, Mark Friedman, the man who went around trying to get a toy company to take on TMNT, finally found a company that accepted their offer. And that well-known toy company is Playmates Toys, who today have the license and are still going strong with their TMNT line. Since Mutant Mayhem recently released, they're close to hitting over a billion dollars in sales. I mean, they might have already hit it by now, but those other toy companies probably are kicking themselves for not taking the TMNT toy license. Fun fact number four, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 movie broke box office records. The original one-shot comic book of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was an unexpected success. The same can be said for the first live-action movie, which perhaps, surprisingly, had a difficult path arriving on screen. There were fights about the script, difficulties surrounding the use of Jim Henson's animatronic turtle suits, and nearly every major studio turned down the opportunity to distribute the film. Partway through filming the upstart studio, New Line Cinema finally backed the movie. The movie's budget was only $13.5 million, but its box office earnings raked in over $200 million worldwide. That made the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie the highest earning independent movie of all time for many years. In fact, Team and T 1990's record wasn't broken until the end of the decade with 1999's Blair Witch Project. Fun fact number three, Raphael became the Shredder? During the Image comic series from 1996, there was a concentrated dose of bizarre within the series. Donatello suffers injuries and has bionic components installed. Leonardo doesn't just lose a hand, it is eaten off by a villain, King Komodo. Splinter was transformed into a bat and lost his mind before eventually returning to his rat form after several issues. Perhaps the most mind-blowing story arc in the Image comic series was Raphael's. In the comic, he first was horrifically scarred in battle, then Raphael wore a version of the Shredder's armor and eventually became the leader of the Foot Clan. It was a shocking turn of events that perfectly embodied how far out the Image Comics TMNT series was. Fun fact number two, there was going to be a fifth turtle named Kirby. And I wish we saw him, damn it! There originally was going to be a fourth live-action Team and T film from the original three films. The fourth live-action movie was pitched and originally scripted as grittier, less kid-friendly adventure, and a bit strange too. To that end, Kevin Eastman designed a more brutish, hardcore fifth turtle named after legendary Jack Kirby. Sadly, the film was scrapped, but the movie would have been titled Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation, which eventually mutated into the 90s live-action TV series, which was not received well by fans, and that led TMNT into its dark time. It wasn't revived again until the 2003 TV series cartoon. And last, fun fact number one, TMNT actually started off as a dark, gritty comic aimed more at adults. You will not find pizza parties or exploding cowabunga word bubbles in the original TMNT comic. Instead, the Turtles' early adventure are loaded with swearing and extreme violence. The first appearance of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came in 1984. That's when I was born. When a mutated rat sent his adopted mutant turtles on a vengeful killing rampage to take down the Shredder, who they successfully slew before moving on to bigger and better foes. Splinter becomes a displaced rat because his owner, Hamato Yoshi, is killed by another ninja named Orokusake, aka the Shredder of the Foot Clan. 
This loss instills a desire for revenge in Splinter and uses the Turtles to bring his plot into action. He adopts and raises the Turtles, but he is not so much a loving father as a puppeteer, molding his apprentices into killing machines that he turned into weapons, pretty much Splinter's tools, not his children. Shredder in the comics is very clear on how his organization amasses its wealth through drug and arms dealing. Shredder doesn't found the Foot Clan, but instead rises through the ranks after proving his ruthlessness. Like the Turtles, Shredder is also a hardened killer, and Mirage Studios makes no effort to downplay his bloody history. When Casey Jones is introduced in the original run of the comic books, he is an unhinged guy who just wants to beat criminals to death. Regardless of the severity of their transgressions, not only does Casey use his signature hockey stick to dispatch wrong doers, he's also down to brutally beat people with baseball bats. He first meets the Turtles after Raphael stops him from killing a group of muggers. While his violent streak calms down a little after that, he does end up killing a teenage mugger and falls into an alcohol-fueled depression as a result. In the Turtles, in the beginning, Shredder isn't the Turtles' main antagonist, as he's killed off in the first story arc. In a back-and-forth rooftop battle, Leonardo takes down Shredder by plunging his sword right through the villain. With Shredder brought to his knees, the Turtles offer him the chance to commit seppuku, ritualistic suicide practice by historical Japanese warriors defeated in battle. Instead, Shredder pulls a dastardly move and whips out a grenade, but Donatello quickly knocks him off the roof to his death. Of course, the turtles don't stop at killing Shredder. The brutal reptiles also dispatch Since this members comic book, of the, the Foot turtles Clan from are hardened without killers. a second thought. It should come at no surprise they didn't restrict themselves to Captain America approved language. While the crew never drops any F bombs, milder swear words are totally common. This seeped into the first live-action Ninja Turtles movie that premiered before toy companies started scrubbing away anything remotely offensive. In one scene, Raphael is pursuing a bad guy who eventually gets away, and in his frustration, he unleashes a primal scream of foul language. So there you have it. There is 10 fun facts about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below. If this video does well and gets a lot of views and likes, I will make another top 10 fun facts about TMNT. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, I will catch you on the next episode of Daredevil 19. And I will also see you guys later.